if you're following me from video number one, you should already have one piece like this uh, with 11 row. If I ask you to do uh, another one like this, if you want to do the little area rug or in front of the toilet. But if you just uh, go into my channel, uh, go to video number one, where I explain with detail how to make this piece until here. Okay? But if you already done it, uh, this 11 row, what you're going to do is chain one and cut your thread, pull it out and tie it up, and we're going to change color. Now we're going to get the light gray, do a slip knot, bring it in the top of the chain three that we've been doing. We're going to do exactly like we did the change of color in here. We're going to chain three. One, two, and three. I'm going to grab the two tails and we're going to continue. Now it will be because this last one was um, nine double crochet and two together. Now it's ten double crochet and two together. But with this color, row number row. And that chain three counts as one. That is two, three, four, five, six, seven, Now we're going to do two together in the next chain space. One and two. Okay, now we're going to continue doing the same thing. Ten double crochet in the next ten chain space. One, two, And two together. One and two together. Now we're going to continue all the way around doing ten double crochet in the next ten chain space and two together in the number eleven. And we'll meet here at the end when we have to finish with two double crochet in the last chain space. We're finishing row number 12 with two double crochet in the same chain space. We're going to do a slip stitch on top of the chain three, chain one, and we're going to cut our thread and we're going to do a color change. I'm going to pull that one out and tie it bit really tight and there we go row number 12. Now we're going to start Row number 13 with the white color. I do slip knot. We need to go on top of the chain three, and we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three, and we're gonna do now eleven. Um, double crochet and chain two. Okay, that counts as one, two, three, four, five, 
five, uh, six, seven, eight. Always with the tails, that way we're gonna lose them. Okay, eight. Ten and eleven and two double crochet. If you don't it right, all is a two double crochet gonna be inside the other two double crochet. Okay, right from the beginning. Now we're gonna do ten, eleven more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and to double crochet in the next chain space. We're going to continue all the way around and we're going to meet here at the end when we just finish with two double crochet in the last chain space. Okay? And that will be row number 13. And we're doing it with the white. That will be just the third color. Here we finish row number 13 with two double crochet in the same chain space and slip stitch in the top of the chain and chain one cut your yarn and we finish with the white here pull it out tie it together and now we're going to put the light gray again do slip knot go on top of the chain Chain three, one, two, and three. And now we have to do twelve double crochet and two together. That counts as one, two, three. Always carrying the tails, that way we don't have to um, sew them later. We have it nice and secure now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and two together, and the next one, and the next chain space, two together. Okay. Now we're going to continue doing 12 double crochet in the next 12 chain space and 2 together and the 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 
twelve and two together in a, in the next chain of space. One and two. We're gonna do this, repeat this all the way around until we end up with two um, double crochet in the last chain of space. And we'll meet here and we get uh, to the end of row number fourteen. Now I'm finished row number fourteen with two double crochet in the same chain space do a slip stitch in the top of the chain 3 chain 1 and cut your yarn and we finish with the light gray now we pull it out tight it nice and tight and now we're gonna start with row number 15 with the darker color that is like a bluish gray. Okay, we're gonna chain three one, two, I'm chaining <laughs> with the tail. Okay, there we go again. One, two and 3 and now it's 13 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Double crochet and two together. I'm gonna continue all this all the way around. Thirteen, all the way around, and two together. That's two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And thirteen and two together. We're gonna repeat this thirteen and two together all the way around and we'll meet here. And that is for row number fifteen. Here we finish in row fifteen with two double crochet. Slip stitch in the top of the top chain and chain three. One, two, and three, and that counts as one. And now it's fourteen uh, double crochet and two together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and two together.
one and two. Okay, is the two together. Okay, and now we're gonna continue again. Fourteen and two together, all the way around until the end, and that will be row number sixteen. We are finishing here, row sixteen, with two double crochet in the same chain space. We're going to do a slip stitch in the top of the chain, three, and we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now in this row, we're going to do 15 double crochet in the 15 chain space and two together, okay? That's one, two, three, four, and two together. I'm going to continue doing this all the way around until we finish with two together. Okay? Remember it's 15 now in between each two double crochet. I'm finished here row number 17 with the two double crochet together. And one is left stitch. Chain three. And this is the last row that it will be 16 double crochet and two together. Okay, that's one, two, and three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 and 2 together. 1 and 2. And we're going to continue 16 double crochet in the next 16 chain space and 2 together. Okay? And we'll meet here at the end with the last 2 uh, double crochet. Okay? We're about to finish the little rug from the front of the toilet. We're going to do the last two double crochet in the same chain space. We're going to do a slip stitch. Chain one. We're going to cut our yarn. Pull it tight. And now we're going to tie it up a little bit. Tease. We're going to cut all these end pieces. And now with the tapestry needle, I'm going to lose this tail here. I'm going to go all the way around to secure it very well. I'm going to come back again. We don't want our project to fall apart when we put it in the wash machine. Do a little knot there if you want to. Just in case. And bring it back. And cut. 
cut it. We're going to do the same thing with this tail here. We're going to loose it. And here is the little rug for in front of the toilet. If you want a bigger uh, rug, what you can do is now change the color, go to, to the gray color, and I start doing uh, seven, 17 in between and continue adding to as big as you want. You can make a huge rug if you want to. Uh, but this one is the size that I did the other one and I'm doing this one. And it's a good size for my two-piece bathroom. Um, I'm going to uh, lose the tail uh, of camera. And then the next video, that, that's it for that. And the next video, video number three, I want to show you how to make this beautiful uh, two roll of paper, sorry, <laughs> two roll of toilet paper holder. It will be like this, okay? Uh, it's really nice and very easy to make uh, with two flowers. I will show you how to make this piece and the two flowers in the next, uh, in video number three. Okay, thank you.